Oh shoot, A and B is a longer one. All right, I'll put A and B on the bottom. Why are Amy questions on Otis DAY Algmanip? Um, okay, so ABCD, let's just color it in. This green text is not readable. Um, oh, is it that bad? Uh, I think part of it might be because there's a grid. Um, if I, oh shoot, that's not what to do. Uh, let's see, if I hide the grid, that probably makes it easier. I haven't even finished wrong yet. Okay, so AK over KB is DL over LC. So I don't know how to do that. So we'll, we'll make K a random point on line AB, that's fine. Let's move it inside. And then L is going to be a random point well, how do I do this? L is K minus A over B minus A times C minus D plus D. Cool. So, okay, why is there a random angle condition? Uh, A, D, K, L, B, C are concurrent. Oh yeah, that's probably a much better way to think about it. Okay, so before I finish adding in P and Q, let's already just do that. Um, so what do I want to call a concurrency point? Do I just call it E? All right, let's just call it E, that's fine. So I guess it's like you want CQ at cap B L. Let me let me first finish drawing the diagram because I'm not that fast right now without paper. Um, but yeah, okay. So the K and L is just saying that they yeah, they meet there. We can kind of not worry about that length condition anymore. And honestly, I kind of want to delete the trapezoid now and just use. Um, EAB because it's just cleaner. Okay, so what is this P and Q nonsense? So angle BCD is equal to. Oh my god. CQD is ABC. What is this random angle condition? Why would you do this? Okay. Um, see, the problem is I don't know how to draw this in GHG pretty easily. Like, is there a... Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to construct the circle using GeoGebra tools. That's the, that's the actual issue now. <laughs> uh, angle condition is like spiral sim. So you want to like take the spiral sim sending DCB into... Yeah, we can do that. That's reasonable. 
Um, how do I write that in code? So I, you, there's a spiral similarity that sends D to A and C to a random point. Um, and its coordinates will be, it's centered at B, so it's, oh my gosh. Okay, well, let me just, okay, I got it. Okay, so circle. Whatever, that's a point P, I think. You can rotate DC such that, yeah, you, you do a spiral similarity such that D goes to A and C goes to X. It's just really annoying to type it into the GeoGebra input bar. What's your words per minute? Um, I don't remember. It's more than a hundred. Okay. Anyways, the good news is once I constructed P, I can. I should be able to construct Q just by taking circle A D P B C P. Something's wrong. Why is the prompt statement not symmetric? Right, because it's... No, of course it's not uh, What am I doing? Okay. I looked at the wrong thing. Okay, unfortunately I didn't pick it well because the... Circle doesn't lie. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so AP equals AP. So we got, let me make sure I didn't mess with the diagram, APB, that's good. And then um, angle ABC is the supplement of that. So we'll draw CQ and we'll draw DQ. And let me make sure this angle adds up to 180. It does. Okay, so I didn't screw up the diagram yet. All right, so this circle is the one I don't really know anything about. No, why is it making points? Okay, so... Wow, someone redeemed the highlight. What are channel points? Um, I think when as you sit around, you get free points for not doing anything. And then the free points let you um, make, do some trivial actions, like highlight a message. So... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyways, Grant said something, but I can't find it in the chat anymore. Uh... There's a cyclic quadrilateral in the middle. BP intersect CQ. And AP intersect DQ. So you want to mark those two points. Okay. Um, So I'm going to hide X because this I kind of just used X to draw the picture. So we'll call that meat, meat. No, I'm really out of it today. Diagram is really annoying. 
Why do I only have 90 channel points? I don't know. But I have infinitely many channel points, apparently. Okay, so the claim was if I draw these two points, which apparently are now called F and G, and I hate those names, so I want to just change them to X and Y. I get a cyclic colon? Hold on. Oh, give me a moment to catch up. Okay, give me, a, give me a moment to add Bizwa dev to the band terms list. Uh, fortunately, I don't actually know how to use this moderator view. Oh, here, blocked terms. Uh, Bizwa dev. Wait, I I added it to permitted terms. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, I really don't know how to use this software. Uh, block terms. Okay, cool. Okay, anyways. Uh, right, so this angle... Oh, okay, so it's automatically cyclic because, okay, that's fine. This thing goes out to 180. What is that circle doing? Does it do anything? I'm, I'm just trying to figure out the angle condition. Um, it's not true by chance that... Okay, why does this song have alarm clocks in it? I'm, I'm skipping it. Okay, so I have, okay, I'm going to check if the triangles happen to be similar, even though I will be really surprised if they are. So that's B, A, P, B, D, C. Yeah, they're not similar. They just look a little close. Like, why is that angle even useful? Um, it's, oh wait, is it just saying it's, AC is tangent to circle B, APB, is that it? So, okay, I mean, that's something. So BC is tangent to triangle APB, which makes me wonder if I should be using... Okay, that's actually just too small to read. I need to increase this through its size. Um... I think it's just like, because, so, you, you, like, it's just this angle condition is saying that the angle between AB and line BC is equal to this angle up here, like APB, so you just get that this line is a tangent to this circle. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's helpful at all. 
Like, I'm just kind of, like, staring at the angle conditions, being like, what is going on? <laughs> okay, well, similarly... Um, Alright, so these two circles might actually be important. I'm going to hide the red circle on X and Y for now, because I want to chase after something else. I'm going to hide the green final circle as well. Um, and instead, what's happening is... Rename. That circle is called C, right? I have this black circle down here, and this red line is tangent here. And then I have another circle, D, C, Q. And the line is also tangent here. So this one's tangent. So this is a multi E that takes this circle to this circle and like does stuff with P and Q. PXQI was cyclic because the opposite angle is out up to 180, but the way I'm going now, I feel like I might not use that. Wait, doesn't this just kill the... What? Okay, hang on, hang on. So I have the two tangents. BC is tangent to ABP, and is tangent to APB and CQD. And also, like, you get a homotopy between them. So P is the upper point, Q is the lower point. So something should happen. Let's see. So let me let me give this point up here a name. This point we'll call R. All right. So by power of a point, EC times EC is equal to ER times EP. So I get that. But then the homotopy that takes the first, the smaller circle to the larger second circle will um, take, uh, shouldn't it be Q? E, C, E, R, oh yeah, sorry, E, Q. The homotopy will take, um, there's a homotopy that takes the first circle to the second circle. So this homotopy will t send R to Q, and what you get is EQ against ER is equal to EB against EC. ER, yeah, it should be ER times EQ, sorry. So e, EQ against ER is equal to EB times EC. So basically by power of a point, you now dilate it, and you get... This implies, um, oh shoot, I put them in the wrong order. I want them the other way. But yeah, now you can just multiply them. Uh, doesn't it go to P? Yes, did I type the wrong thing again? Uh, I'm really out of it today, I'm sorry. I stayed up too late last night watching the ending of Crash Landing on You. So I woke up at like noon and I'm still like, <laughs> Doesn't it go to P? Take Q prime equals EQ intersect APB from tendency. Crash landing on you. Um, is this Korean drama that's really popular on Netflix recently? What is this a math live stream? Yes. We are doing IMO shortlist. I don't know if you know who I am. If you don't, that probably explains why you're confused. Um. <laughs> Alright, because now that I'm listed as science and technology, I might actually get people who don't know what the IMO shortlist is popping by. So I should at least write IMO shortlist so they know who we are. Anyways, yeah, so this sends R to Q, so we should just be fine. Now I multiply, I get EB times EC equals uh, EP times EQ. So done by power of a point. So it's entirely homotopy. It's just the angle conditions were telling us these circles were tangent, and then the homotopy is you just get EP times EQ equals EC times EB through the homotopy. And then, um, yeah, okay. That was shorter than expected. This is, yeah, this is perfect chapter 3 material. You can just do it by angle chase? I totally believe you. Um, so you wanted, you can, I see. If you use the homotopy, you can also chase, use the homotopy to move the angles because QCB is equal to, what is it, like, yeah, I see. So you, you move Q prime down here and then, that, yeah, that'll work too. 
Yeah, I wasn't expecting this to just work either. Success! Alright, great, now I look really smart. Um, cool. Let's go on to the end one. Any, why is EP over EC equals EP over ER? So the basic premise is that this there's a homotopy at E, which sends this whole figure like ECR to, let's just say ECR to EBP. That's easiest to see, but it's like sending this circle to the second circle. Um, and so in particular, you get the ratios. I know. Wow, I even got someone trying to claim that quarantine is over on my stream. <laughs> I guess once you're listed in science and technology, people might actually show up. Because before it was listed as kids learn math, and I don't think anyone who's in grades one through four is going on Twitch to watch people stream their like six times four game. But we might actually get visitors now. <laughs> That's such a weird feeling. Uh... <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, yeah, this is definitely homotony material. Um, like, it's just perfect homotony example. <laughs> Four-year-olds running in fear of moving points. Not the wrong response, in my opinion. You should have emotes. So, <laughs> you want me to make emotes for this stream? If, how about this? If you make emotes for me and they're reasonable, I will actually use them. Make emotes? Oh my god. Give me a moment, my Twitch is behaving a little weirdly. <laughs> <laughs> 